Hey guys, how's it going? So I've switched to Gentoo now on my iMac, so this is an iMac 27 inch. And I thought I'd kind of show uh, where where everything is so far running open box. Uh, tent 2 has a panel, conky uh, on the side there obviously you can see. Uh, so I guess the first thing, uh, I'm running the uh, URXVT has a background so there's it's borderless so you can't actually see it here uh, you can grab it and move it around if you hold down the uh, Z, uh, alt and drag yeah, typical in open box but it is transparent and it's starting up in uh, in the background as I'm logging in so the first thing you want to do well first let's go over here to uh, or to arch and to the wiki and go to box and scroll down here running it as a desktop background so you need a couple things in here you need it to be transparent uh, well you can have a scroll bar if you want you need borderless true <coughs> and so if you go to uh, my X resources uh, so EX for me is vim.x vim resources Oh, I'm in scripts, so we'll go home. That CD uh, takes you back home. And uh, so we go vim dot x resources. Uh, so first thing you need to do is borderless true. You need to have transparent true. And then you set in your geometry. This is a 27 inch monitor, so this monitor, so this is pretty big. Uh, yeah, so you set it up there. That's first. And then we go back over here. Then in your rc.xml uh, config open box, um, you need to have this block in here. So if I go to, uh, I have a shortcut, I just say erc, and that's now that's the same as vim. So I don't confuse anybody, vim.config open box rc.xml. So we want to go to the very bottom. I put it at the very bottom. I've, I've tried it a couple different places, and it looks like the best place to put it uh, for it to work. I had it at the end of the example. Uh, I've, I've tried it in a couple different places. I've tried it like uh, you know right here. I've tried it in a couple different places, but uh, from what I could tell, the best way to get this to work is to put it at the bottom. That is, so then this is almost identical to the block we see. Over here, it's just I've changed the X and Y a little bit. And that is obviously X, it's 28 from the left and 36 from the top. Let's see, what else do you need for that? Oh, yeah, so uh, to call it, uh, you can just uh, you know run URXVT. And it just pulled up a new one, but I've already got it running. So if you wanted to uh, run automatically when you log in, you need to put it in your uh, xinit. So if we go vim.xinit, then uh, we run it as uh, Damon in the background. Uh, let's see, where, where did I put that? Actually, I think it might be in my, so this is just running it as a background, or as a Damon. It's actually in my uh, auto start. So let's go, uh, so in, con in config open box, there's an auto start. So let's just go there, cd.config open box. So if you don't already have these in here, uh, Yes, yeah, so I have a couple of versions in there. But if you don't have an auto start and environment and menu and RC, then you just copy uh, etc xdg open box, and you'll see them in there. So if you don't have them in there, then uh, copy those to your. You need to make a open box folder and then copy those to open box. So once you have those, I'll go into home. So I, I have a you know, vim config open box. Auto start is E A S for me. It's a uh, uh, alias. So what I have here is I have a sleep one and you are XVT. So this just basically starts it as open box starts. It brings it up. I can't do it here because I'd have to kill X to do it. But anyways, uh, when, you know it comes up. It looks just like this. Yeah. So and then I just do my T Mux and and it's already there. So uh, that works there. 
So the next thing we have going on here is, uh, let's see. Uh, the next thing, let's talk about the uh, key binding. So if we have here, we have the volume you can see here. So up and down, let's take it down to 30. Uh, so if you want to do that, uh, ERRC is, is them. RCXML. It's this line right here. That's my alias. So if anybody doesn't understand that, so let's go ahead and do our. Oh boy, there's another another alias. Oops. So if we do uh, EZ is the same as them dot X or ZSHR RC. But the good thing about having an alias is that you can have. Uh, you can put this in here, so it doesn't matter where you are. You don't have to type in the squiggly and everything. So I can be. I could be literally, yeah, so let's do that again. So if, uh, you know, if we wanted to look at X resources, we could be literally anywhere. It'd be cd, uh, cd git, uh, and let's go, I don't know, here. And normally you would have to, you know, vim squiggly dot X resources. But the good thing about having an alias is I can just do EX and it's going to bring it up. Anyways, so so all that said, what I was meaning to do is uh, so we edit rc.xml, erc, and let's do a search for xf. So these are my key bindings. So in uh, Openbox is 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 uh, set up. In, it's an XML format. So if you want a key binding, you do it in this form. You have a key bind. You call the key. And it's under the keyboard section. It's under the keyboard. You call the key, which is going to be your basically your uh, play button on your keyboard, and you tell it to execute. It's the action. The command in this case is toggle. So it toggles on and off. So play, play and stop. And then if you have a stop button, I actually don't have a stop button. Let's put it in there anyways. Then it's the same thing. So so you start it off with an open, open and close arrows here, an action, a command. Close the action. The action is open with another arrow. You close it with a slash action, and you close the whole keybind with a slash keybind. So this is one command right here, or one key binding. And you'll see it again here. So anytime you do this, you just you know copy this format, insert the key, and what you want to do, which is execute in the command. So anyways, so the play is uh, NPC toggle. Let's play pause. NPC stop. Uh, next is MPC next, and this one's tricky. Uh, previous, I've tried like MPC prev, P R E V. I've tried MPC previous. I guess it's not in there. So you actually need to. I'm gonna go ahead and split the page here. What you need to do is uh, see these scripts. Uh, so I have one in here that is uh, so vim MPC, and I got this from uh, somebody on. I don't know. I think it was Ubuntu. Forms or something, so MPC uh, previous, and I believe it was this one right here. Uh, I can't remember exactly. Oh, right here. It was this one here. Yeah, so we get it right here. So you know, it's in. Uh, well, here's the uh, URL. And when you do this search, it's this solved. It's under Ubuntu forms. So again, the, the code is right here. You just put that into a, an sh script. So bin sh, put that text in there, uh, exit out, and make sure it's executable with the chmod. Uh, usually, everybody does plus x, and then npc. And that way, so when you do uh, a list that's going to come in as uh, in this green format. If it's not active, it'll be like the CD CD rip thing is. All right. So that is your bindings. The next thing I have going on is the uh, volume. Uh, so let's see here. So yeah, this is just a mixer set master plus and minus five unmute. And you want to, on the mute, you want to toggle. You don't want to say mute because then you'll never be able to hit it, get it unmuted. So the best way to do this 
I've tried it another way in Awesome, and it's just basically just sets it mute, and then you have to t open up something like Pabu Control and unmute it. It's a pain in the butt. So you want to a mixer set master toggle is the best way to do it. So that should get all your key bindings working out for MPC. So basically, if I if I start this, kind of dark in here. So there's there's that. There's forward, and then there's back again. So back works. Awesome. And once we get some going on, so up, up volume, and forward again, back, so, and then pause. So anyways, that all works, should work for you. Let's see, what next? Oh, so uh, in Conky, Sometimes it's tricky to get your volume to show because I don't like like the vol wheel and all that looks like crap. I like to have this just uh, running programs in here. It's a little bit tricky. So if we go to vim.conky, uh, we go to the bottom here and put it up top here. So this is the uh, program you need to run, and it's tricky because uh, let me split the plane real, plane real quick. Oops, my bad, sorry. We switch the plane. There we go. So if we do just do a mixer, get master M, we get a bunch of output. So if we do that with a grep. Grep. And you know in the Ubuntu forms you've probably seen O E. And then we'll have this and Digit and then slower stuck percent. So you're going to get two outputs. So what you want to do, if you only want one, that's basically left and right speaker. So you see it here, left and right. What you need to do is set it O M one. And you know, if you do like a quick, uh, you know, grep help. You'll see an O in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we get this figured out here. There we go. O, uh, only matching. And M is. Uh, max count number, stop after number matches. So if, if, if I change this to a two, it would be the same as having two outputs. So by having a one there, you only get one. So anyways, uh, let's see, anything else? That's pretty much it. Uh, obviously running Tmux, and I got Tmux from Gottlieb2. So check out his channel if you haven't yet. Gottlieb2, that guy. Solid, solid channel. Lots of CLI stuff on CLI stuff on there, but uh, yeah. So that's that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions about uh, Gen two, uh, I guess one last thing I'll show you uh, on the on the side here we see uh, a couple things. So let me see if there's anything I want to. Let me see if I can think of something I want to emerge. So let's let's take a look at my ZSH. I might not have gotten everything in here. So we've got. GCAL, PGO, uh, anything we want to, you know, anyways, if we did something like, I don't know if it's going to be, I don't know if it's going to actually do anything here, but you can see what this does is it logs what Emerge is doing, and if you download any files, so I did gcalcli, it actually tracks the logs basically. So if you look at uh, my uh, ZSHRC, I have a couple things in here. We have a log fetch and a log emerge. So you, go, you do tail f, and then you look at your logs, var log, emerge fetch, and emerge log. And this will actually be a running uh, <coughs> running deal here that uh, if you wanted to you know, install something, you could actually track it. So yeah, let me just think of something. Might want to add just so I can show you. Bear with me for a second. Mm -hmm. Let's go 
gotta be something I haven't installed yet. Well, maybe edit cap. I don't know if I've done that. So if we do emerge, search for editor cap. Yeah, so if you want to look at a net analyzer, editor cap, say, so we do emerge and verbose. So what we can do over here, as you see, merge is looking at merge verbose. We've got two things we're downloading. We're downloading files here. We can add our next one. And it basically is giving you more output. So if you wanted to set up like a Tmux, then we go over here to uh, cool thing about Tmux is you can have several things launch. So if we have, uh, I think I have a portage in here. Yeah, portage. So what we do is we have uh, one pane that's going to be just Sue. We're going to split the pane 40%, so it's 60, 40. So if we look over here, it's 60% it's on this side, 40% on this side. And then you have it bring up log emerge and log fetch. And we're able to actually watch it do all that stuff. So anyways, that's kind of cool. So that's about all I had. So if you have any questions, let me know. Take care.